solve do square z by do x square plus z equal to 0 given that when x equal to 0 z equal to e raised to y and do z by do x is equal to 1. So let us have the solution procedure. If z were a function of x alone then we would have obtained z as equal to a cos x plus b sin x. So how do you get this starting point? Just think about the case when z is a function of x alone. So in that case a partial differential equation can be treated just as an ordinary differential equation do d square z by dx square plus z equal to 0. So when z is a function of x alone the given PDE can be treated like the ordinary differential equation d square z by dx square plus z equal to 0 for which we know how to write the auxiliary equation which is m square plus 1 equal to 0. This is called auxiliary equation and for the auxiliary equation the roots are plus or minus i and therefore when the uh, roots of the auxiliary equation are plus or minus i, we know how to write the solution. So in that case, the solution becomes z is equal to a cos x plus b sin x. And that is how we obtain the solution, the starting solution as z equal to a cos x plus b sin x. But looking at this whole problem, we know that z is not just a function of x alone. It can also be a function of y and hence we have to incorporate the factor y in the solution and therefore we will replace our constants a and b by function of y. So we shall write z is equal to fy cos x plus gy sin x. fy cos x plus gy sin x. So this is our first solution. Now we have to, we are going to apply the condition given. What is the condition when x is equal to 0, z is equal to e raised to y. So that is the condition given and from the solution 1, we have z after substituting x equal to 0, we have z as equal to f of y. f of y into 1 plus gy into 0. And therefore, equation 1 gets modified as z is equal to e raised to y cos x plus gy sin x. Now we have to find out what is this gy also. Let me put it as equation number 2. Now in order to apply the second condition, we should have do z by do x. So we are going to differentiate equation 2 partially with respect to x. So in this partial differentiation with respect to x, we have to keep y as a constant. In the partial differentiation with respect to x, y is kept temporarily as a constant. So we have do z by do x equal to e raised to y kept as a constant. Integral cos x is minus sin x plus gy a constant derivative of sin x is cos x. So that is do z by do x equal to e raised to y into minus sin x plus g y into cos x. So this is equation 3. Now we are going to apply our next condition that is when x is equal to 0 do z by do x is equal to 1. So let us substitute x equal to 0 into 3. When x equal to 0, it is e raised to y into 0 plus gy into 1. So that means we got gy as equal to 1. So we have both fy and gy evaluated with the help of conditions given. And therefore, we modify our solution number 1 as e z is equal to I mean, uh, we are going to modify 2. 1 is modified and we obtained 2 already. So in 2, we are going to substitute our obtained gy as well. So that is e raised to y cos x plus 
sin x and that is our final answer. Next question. So dou square z by dou y square equal to z given that when y is equal to 0 z equal to e raised to x and dou z by dou y equal to e raised to minus x. Let us see the solution. As in the previous case, here we think about the case when z is a function of y alone. Then we would have obtained the solution as z is equal to a e raised to y plus b e raised to minus y. How the solution is obtained? When z is treated just as a function of y, then uh, we can have our partial differential equation written like an ordinary differential equation as d square z by dy square equal to z. So this is an ordinary differential equation for which we know the auxiliary equation as m square equal to 1 and the roots of this auxiliary equation is plus or minus 1. So these are the two roots of the auxiliary equation and this explains why we have the solution as z equal to a e raised to y plus b e raised to minus 1. Now we know that in the actual situation y is, uh, z is not just a function of y, it is also a function of x and therefore we have to incorporate that into this solution. So we have modified the solution as z is equal to fx e raised to y plus gx e raised to minus y. That is both a and b got replaced by two functions of x. This is the starting solution. Now here we are going to apply the conditions one by one. So let us apply the first condition. When y is equal to 0, z is equal to e raised to x. So this is the first condition given. When y is equal to 0, z equal to e raised to x. Now let us see what happens when that y equal to 0 is substituted into the right hand side of uh, solution 1. When y equal to 0, we have fx plus gx. So we have the first equation fx plus gx equal to e raised to x. This is our first equation fx plus gx equal to e raised to x. Now to apply the second condition we need dou z by dou y. What will you do? We have to differentiate 1 partially with respect to y. In this partial differentiation with respect to y we keep x as a constant and therefore we have dou z by dou y equal to f x e raised to y then minus g x e raised to minus y and let me call it as 2 for the time being and here we are going to apply our next condition when uh, y is equal to 0 dou z by dou y is equal to e raised to minus x. We are going to substitute y equal to 0 into uh, this uh, solution 2, equation 2 and we have dou z by dou y equal to fx minus gx and therefore we have the next equation fx minus gx equal to e raised to minus. We have two equations and we are going to solve these two equations fx plus gx equal to e raised to x and fx minus gx is equal to e raised to minus x. Adding the two equations we have 2fx equal to e raised to x plus e raised to minus x. Therefore we can have fx as equal to e raised to x plus e raised to minus x by 2. What is this e raised to x plus e raised to minus x by 2? It is nothing but the hyperbolic cosine cos hx. Now subtracting the two equations. The first equation minus second equation will give you 2gx that is equal to e raised to x minus e raised to minus x and therefore we have gx as equal to e raised to x minus e raised to minus x by 2 which is sin hx hyperbolic sin of x. 
and therefore we have the solution as z equal to cos hx into e raised to y plus sin hx into e raised to minus y. The solution is cos hx into e raised to minus e raised to y plus sin hx into e raised to minus y.